Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and I'm here with a bit of swap mail. Now, um, this is March and I'm doing a swap with someone called Kirsten of Qu Quirky Queens, not easily said at this time of day, um, and the swap was three ATCs or artist trading cards. I believe it was in a green theme. Um, and Kirsten's package has arrived. Now, normally I would open on screen, but I can tell you now, when Kirsten wraps a package, that lady wraps a package. So I managed to get it out of, obviously, a recycled envelope, but I haven't opened this bit yet, So because I didn't think you needed to see me struggling trying to battle with the big e um, eBay package. So I did add these little bits of washi tape because it was all folding nicely and I went, I don't want to inadvertently see what's in here. So I quickly threw some washi tape pieces onto it. So thank you very much, Kirsten. Um, I will freely admit I haven't mailed yours yet. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm almost there. It's just, I want to do the last finishing touches before I start packaging it up. So I think it'll be going up Monday. So thank you. Um, it was three ATCs, but obviously I've got some happy mail to do. Okay, first of all, gift wrap tissue. I love that. Let's take that out of the way just in case it's... Actually, that must be those, right? Let's take the tissue out of the way. So give me a quick millisecond so I can read... I mean, this is the back of it. It's lovely. It's all textural and soft. So give me a second. I just want to read this note. So... Oh, Kirsty! Oh, Kirsty! Thank you. Okay, so I've got three ATCs here. Okay, Kirsty says, um, "Right, they're in order." Okay, she says, "The ATC number one is actually in her style. Looks fabulous to me, Kirsty. Uh, the ATC in the second style is a tribute to me. Thank you. Oh, look, that's the C E R I. I get it." I, like, I love the texture of this. They feel they're very textural, textural. Um, wait, no, I've got that wrong. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. I'm trying to read over one over my shoulder. Right. This is Kirsten style. This is a tribute to me. So that's Kerry C E R I C E R. Loving that. Thank you. And this is apparently more my style. I think you're dead on with all three. That's beautiful. Can you see that? And obviously they're signed and they're dated and they're all ready to go. Loving all of that. Um, guys, I will be putting a link to um, Quirky Queen's YouTube channel um, down in the description box. So please pop over and see. She does have a unique, unique style and it's absolutely lovely. So let's put those to one side. Very happy. Those are lovely. Thank you. I like the colour scheme. It's really earthy and rich. So, okay. Oh, is, is this journal pages? Yes, this I think this is journal pages. Okay, it's funny enough because I've just finished filming um, the contents of my journal signature box. So I'll be adding these to it. Thank you for these. I'm always happy to use papers and stuff. Papers and pages. Ooh, what's that? That, that looks old. Ooh, that is old. The Story of Mankind. It was a really short story, wasn't it? Fabulous. Thank you for that. I will definitely be using that. I'm liking this. It, I'm trying to work out what this is. It's a. It's obviously from a book. Maybe it was craft pages within a book. That's very... That could be a journal cover in itself. So that may become a journal cover. So thank you for that. Okay. Um, Kirsten did say... Um, if the journal and ATCs are not to your taste, please do not hesitate to pass them along or reuse them. I, there's no way I'm passing this along. Look at this. This is so gorgeous. Is that part? That's part. Okay, let's slip the ribbon off. I do know that Kirsten is a journal maker because um, we had a bit of a discussion. And whenever I'm doing a swap with someone, I do ask them, what's your style? What do you do? What do you favorite with? And Kirsten did say she likes several different things, mixed media, she loves journal making, so all of that. I just want to make sure there's nothing on the back of that. That's obviously painted, hand painted, that's lovely. I love that. 
This is this is so grungy grungy. I love it. I the trouble is with me, you see, I'm too neat. And I even though I try to be random and rugged and, and messy and grungy, it always looks like it's been cleaned. So ooh, lots of goodies in here. Does that come out as well? No, that's the back panel. I'm loving these. I like your style, lady. I like your style. They've all got this muted colour to them. Those are beautiful. There's no way this, this journal is going anywhere except on my shelf with my journals. Liking this, I need to do more stitching. Ooh, sorry, you in shot. I'm, I'm wearing an R ring and maybe you can't see. Is that that's stuck in there? I like this. It's it's what's the word I'm trying to think? It's franken papered. Yes, franken papered. That's the stencil. Um, the word I'm looking for. Daffodils, obviously tribute because I'm Welsh. Autumn leaves. I love autumn. It's one of my favourite. Autumn and spring are my favourite times of year. That's lovely. Little bugs. I love how you've managed to get really small things. This is lovely. You achieve stuff so much better than I do with this. Oh, look, the shamrocks are in there. Is that shamrocks? I don't know if it's shamrocks or clover. I get a bit confused. But it's it's the month of um, St. Patrick's Day. And I think that's why the person who set the theme of green did, did green as a theme. Because it's St. Patrick's Day month. I'm loving these. Everything is just so so tactile. You just want to keep, keep touching stuff. Does this slide on? Does it slide out? Oh, look. Oh, it's a flip, flip out, flip. It's a flip thing. <laughs> Words elude me today. I apologise. I'm loving this. It's all just... Everything's just so texturally beautiful. You've spent some... I love this. That's the same as the front one on the front, isn't it? Same theme. I would say those were probably painted at the same time or near enough. I'm loving this. I think it's great that you include your own artwork in a journal. And and I say that not just for Kirsten. I mean, I say it for everyone. A journal should represent you and your personality. Unless, of course, you're doing a commission for somebody else. Um, I know design teams do have to stay within the boundaries of using certain things when they're a design team, but this is a joy to look at because this is a representation of Kirsten and it's it's beautiful. So that's hinged. I don't want to pull stuff out that I don't know. That. Oh, is it a tuck up, tuck down? Oh, wait, there's more in here. There's stuff all over the place. I'm loving this. absolutely loving this what is this this is a little something oh look a little little journaling space is this a tuck up <laughs> oh, look, I'm loving this or are these extras I could use those as spare belly bands couldn't I so that's that flipped over there I had to be careful because I could quite easily lose which flips where which flops where I'm so loving this this is just I wish, it, wish this was Felogram. So. That's cute. I like that. I don't know whether that was intentional, but I like that. I think it must have been intentional because it fits there. Kirsten, I absolutely love it. Thank you. Absolutely love your style. I just can't stop touching it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, okay. This must be the other side or the mirroring side to the other one. that You like doing this, don't you? Is that watercolour, maybe? That may be watercolour. Everything is so textural. It's like you just want to keep rubbing it between your fingers. I don't know what I'm... Um, I wonder whether Kirsten actually sells her journals. I don't know that I've actually asked her that. I know she makes them. 
maybe Kirsten, when you watch this video, because I'm sure you're going to watch a video, mention in the comments whether you actually do sell your journals. And if you do, let me know and I'll put the link to wherever you sell them in the description box, because these, these are beautiful. Right, this one flips out, doesn't it? So, that will come. I know so many people who love this style. It's a little writing tablet. Oh, I like that you've numbered the pages. That's something I've not seen done too often. I like that. You've got quite a few pages in there, haven't you? Do we go up to 11 or do we go up to 12? 12. 12 and about. That's, that's quite a sizable tablet too. I mean, look at that. And when you reckon, no insult meant, but these were all made from what some of us would regard as scraps. And they're actually Franken stencil, and um, Franken stencil, Franken papered in the way that I know it should be. And that is that you don't put the pieces onto the back of a piece of paper. You actually have the pieces join up by the stitching, because as you can see, these panels are actually only held together probably with a very thin line of glue and then stitching over the joints, which is how I personally believe Franken papers should be made. So does that go on the inside? I'll make those on the inside there. I love this, Kirsten. This is absolutely stupendous. Thank you. I love all these little hidden bits. She love that. What's another flip out? You like your flips and your flops, don't you? That's a nice image. Oh, it's another another pad. Let me try and open it up. I used to make a lot of these. Not this size or style, but I used to make a lot. I seem to have got out the habit of doing them, and they're such a useful way to put so much extra journal space into a journal when you don't have a lot of space, because this, if you add those up, however many pages, that's quite a sizable page. And a lovely pocket there. Oh, and there's more. Good grief. Oh, wait. Uh, this come out. This does come out. A little tiny tuck spot. I love this. This is gorgeous. And I would say this is probably stenciled. I don't know whether that's texture paste or whether it's actually just... It could be thicker gesso or it could be just acrylic. Not sure about that one. Oh, I quite like this. Little tuck spots made out of laid book pages. I just want to make sure there's nothing hidden in there. Oh, fold and fold and fold. Tucked in there. Does this pull out? No, it doesn't pull out. It's just a decorative piece. Well, Kirsten, that was a joy. I love that. That I just love. It's just so gorgeous to hold. So that's going to be on my bookshelf with my journals and be there with pride. Am I going to get this back on again? I'm terrible at putting ribbons back on. And I'm being lazy because I should really just untie it and tie it back on. But if I don't have to, I'm not going to. So Kirsty, you put me to shame because yours has arrived and I haven't even finished making yours yet. I mean, they're 99% they're, they're done, but I love this. Thank you so much. So I've got a wonderful, wonderful journal, some very sp special pages, which will go into my signatures box. And I've got some really three beautiful ATCs, artist trading cards, in a style I wouldn't have created myself. And that's that's why I like doing swaps because you can get other styles of ATCs and postcards and tags to inspire you. And I think these are absolutely beautiful. I love this. It's not really grungy. It's, I don't know what I want to call this style. It's, it's just beautiful. So Kirsten, thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to flip this over because it's got words on it to me, but that was also in there. And that looks absolutely beautiful as well. Thank you so much. And hopefully when you receive my package, which, as I said, will be going out on Monday 
Um, so actually when this video launches, you may already have seen the package. So hopefully you like it. Um, thank you so much for sharing your art with me. And it was a joy to do a swap with you. You have a great day, Kirsten. Um, I'm Kerry the Crafter, and I'm saying goodbye for now. So that's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Until next time, bye-bye.